Yes, sir. What's your name? Uh, Chris. Chris, I hear you were a bad boy. You got black flagged. Is that true or is very, that false? Very bad. Very, yeah. Well, Chris, what did you do this time? Uh, smoothest rider. Smoothest rider. Uh, in fact, what did you think, Chris, when you saw the black flag? Um, I figured uh, something was wrong with the bike, so I yeah. slowed down mid-turn and checked, but uh, yeah. ended up getting hit in every corner, so I figured it was that. So. Very good. Chris, uh, again, they chose you as the smoothest rider. You think they made a mistake? No. no. I think I've read the right Very reason. good. Very good. Well, I'll tell you what, Chris. Um, do you think uh, being smooth as a rider is important, and if so, why is that? It, it's very important. If, if you're not smooth out on the track, you, you're, you're antsy and you're, 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 not, you're not staying ahead of yourself. You're, you're always getting late into turns, you're going to overreact, you're going to you scare yourself, you'll end up running off the track, and, and the same applies out on the street. If you're not smooth out there on the street, too, you know, things can pop up in front of you and you can get scared and, and, and end up hurting yourself or somebody else. Um, so being smooth, you know, with throttle and braking and everything really just keeps you and your bike going home in one piece every day. So it's, it's very important, very important. That's a good, very good answer, Chris. Uh, Chris, uh, do you think uh, uh, consistency at Right Smart, we talk a lot about also consistency. You know, turn, consistency with your turn-in point, with your corner entry speed, with your braking point. Uh, do you think consistency is important, and if so, why? Um, especially on the track, it's very important. Um, not only are you trying to be consistent for yourself to keep yourself out of harm's way, but you've got other riders to, to kind of be considerate of as well. They've, they've got to be able to predict what you're going to do, and, and you would expect the same courtesy out of them. You don't want them to all of a sudden deviate their line and end up you know, running into you or causing you to go down or something like that. And being consistent just it, it leads to better times. You know, the more consistent you are, the quicker you're going to get. Um, you know, that's step by step at a time, and you'll get there. Chris, uh, again, a good answer. Chris, uh, you're from Houston, I know that. And uh, Chris, there's been, um, uh, every year we have a lot of uh, fatalities due to people, 98% uh, of the time it's too much speed. They're going too fast and then they don't know how to control the bike when something gets in their way. Uh, but, uh, so you hear about so many fatalities now in the greater uh, you know, Houston or San Antonio or DFW area. Um, Chris, what do you think is going on? What's going on in their minds? Why are they, what are they trying to prove? Or do they not realize how dangerous it is? Or I think, is I think they're riding above their heads. They get out there in their groups and they tend to just want to keep up with everybody. And you can't do that. You have to ride your own ride. You have to be smooth. You have to be consistent. You can't go out there and try to be rossy on the highway every day. You've got cars and other things to consider. It's the same goes here at the track. You've got to be able to ride within your own means. Uh, that's something I've always done, and, and you just have to be able to ride your own ride, don't worry about everybody else, and it, I think it would lead to a lot less you know, issues out on the highway as well. Everybody just taking care of themselves and doing what they feel is comfortable for themselves. What would be your advice? Let's say you had a, a kid brother, or an older brother, or a, a close friend that was just got a sport bike and was out there kind of uh, just intoxicated with it and kind of getting it over their head. What would be your advice to them? Uh, first thing, I'd probably set him down, tell him he's over his head, he's calming down, and then I'd definitely recommend him come out to a Ride Smart event or any there you track go. day event. You, you there come you out go. and you learn so much out here, and, and everybody that I see that comes out here is, is a hundred times better when they get on the street. They go out even just a, a Sunday ride, and they're running, you know, a hundred times better than they ever have. And they're, they're being consistent, they're going out there, and they're following their own lines, they're riding within their own means, and they learn that from the track, and, and there are a lot of us... Um, and the group rides are trying to, you know, reiterate that down people. You know, don't try to keep up. We've got separate paces for everybody. And the same goes when you're out riding on your own. You don't want to be out there, you know, trying to ride over your means. You want to definitely stay, stay within your own means. And you just, I would tell them, you know, come out, let's go have some fun on the track and, you know, show you how, it's, how you're supposed to do. Very good advice. Again, uh, Chris. Uh, Chris, now, you're with a, a group called WFO Riders. Is that dot .com? Yes, sir. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that, where you're based, and who's welcome to be uh, part of that, and it's, how they can get in touch? It's based out of Houston. We've grown. Uh, we have uh, members from the DFW area that have gotten on in San Antonio. We've, we've grown a little bit um, since we've been around for about a year a year now. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a group that really promotes safe riding, uh, group riding. Um, anytime we do a group ride, there's there's separate groups that go out. Uh, we, we focus safety, you know, helmets, jacket, everything's got to be out. I mean, we, we try to get guys out to the track. Uh, every track of yes, day is posted do. on the site. Yeah. We try to get everybody out there. And, and we've really had a lot of first-timers come out. And yes, you have. Back again. 
yeah. and they love it, and they, they get hooked to it, and they end up being better riders from the street, and it, that's, that's all you can ask for. It's, yes. it's a real big family more than anything. It is. Who's the founder of that? Isn't his name Thomas? Thomas. Thomas Laney. He's actually the one that got me involved with, with riding out of the Very good. And what do you think of Thomas? And he's, his, a, he's a great guy. He's, he's almost a father figure to a lot of the guys on the side. He really looks after everybody, especially on rides and coming out to the track. And uh, He's really a mentor to a lot of the guys that come yeah. out here. And he's really helped me along the way, too. So he's a great guy. He just happens to be one of our instructors, yes, isn't that sir. true? Yes, sir. Also, now, how, what would people have to do, let's say, if they wanted to inquire about the, the group, check it out, uh, where would they go? It's uh, www.wforiders.com. Um, you can get on there and you can get on as a guest and then sign up as a member. And, and we have everything from uh, you know sections for just general chat. We have guys to get on and just kind of turns into a chat room throughout the day so you kind of can have you know, conversation with everybody, and then there's the technical discussion. You get on and discuss issues with your bike. There's a track side of it where everybody can track, and, and it's just a really good group. And, and it's, I recommend anybody to get involved with them. And uh, our sister, um, you know, forum is a uh, high performance group now as well. We've, we've jointly kind of started working together, trying to promote safe riding. Um, so both of them are great sites to get involved with. High performance crew, isn't that uh, uh, Brant uh, Dillon and uh, also Jimmy? Uh, uh, Calabo, isn't it? Yep, uh, right. both, Dylan, uh, both run CMRA. Um, both are great guys, very knowledgeable. You're fast too, huh? Very fast, very fast. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Chris. Uh, I'm really, uh, I'm happy. I was surprised when I walked over here and saw that you were, that you were the one who were picked. But I'm happy for you. you uh, that's really, uh, it's, it's a great job. It shows you've been thinking and you've been trained right. And uh, good luck in the future, and I expect you to win it when you get into level four. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah, we'll definitely get it. Thank you for you oh. and your team, everybody here. It's, it's a great, great track day organization, so okay. I wouldn't go anywhere else. Thank you so much, Chris. Bye-bye.